what are the basics in terms of filings and types of taxes that miners are looking at? Like when you, you buy an ASIC, you start mining, you receive payouts, like what type of taxes apply to you basically once you once you join the mining game? The notion of what is income is a very broad in the Internal Revenue Code. That said, um, if you are buying an ASIC and you're doing an economic activity and you're getting a reward, you have income, point one. Point two, there's issues around timing. At the time you get the reward, that's your income event. Um, measure the fair market value at the time of the, you have unrestricted access to the reward. Third point is, is ordinary income. If, if you hold the asset, that establishes your tax basis at that time. If you later sell the asset, um, you then have a capital gain or capital loss, depending on the price movement from the time you receive the reward and from the time you sell the reward. Next point, you have issues around employment taxes, self-employment taxes. The IRS has said that if you are a minor, you will have self-employment taxes. Um, I think that's an overbroad statement in how you mine, quite frankly. Um, if you are directly mining yourself, um, and it uh, rises to the level of what the tax law thinks is a trade or business, um, then uh, you will have self-employment taxes. If it's a hobby that you're doing it every now and then, it's not a for-profit adventure with the IRS thinks, um, then I don't think you have self-employment, you don't have a trader business. If you are you know, mining with a centralized company where they're doing all the activities and you're just getting a reward, that kind of activity is sufficiently passive, in my opinion, that it wouldn't rise to the level of a trader business. And there's analogs in other areas. Um, in real estate, for example, there's a notion of what they call a triple net lease, where I may own real estate, but someone else is doing all the profit engaging activities. And all I'm doing is sending, giving them money and getting back, getting back coupons. And at that point, that kind of thing, I don't think is a trader business um, on, by reference to other areas of tax law. 